ahead of time. A fantastic service is BreakthroughBroker.com. It's totally free. BreakthroughBroker.com. Break is B-R-E-A-K. BreakthroughBroker.com. Go there. You're going to get a lot of the uh, resources, a lot of things. I'm gonna. This will be up here at the end, so you guys will have access to this. Now, I'm going to park right here on the buyer and seller book simply because this is going to be what's going to make our open house super successful every time. We're going to have a buyer and seller book like this right here. First thing that you want to have in your buyer and seller book, and I'm not going to dive into this in depth, but for instance, it says, thank you for contacting Nilo's Dream regard, regarding the potential sale of your property. In here, we also have the commitment to you as a seller. We have testimonials that have been printed out from Real Satisfied. Are you guys using Real Satisfied? Real Satisfied is something that you have access to through the Miami Association of Realtors. Real Satisfied is something that you want to use. So what I do with this right here, I don't know if I have my blow up uh, on there. So I have my personal promo pop by items, but what I do, what you see right here, I take each one of these, I went to Office Depot, and I had this blown up on an 11 by 18 card stock. 11 by 18 card stock. Each one of these four that I have in here. And I place those throughout the property. Kitchen, bedroom, living room, patio. Why am I doing that? Because as they're walking by, they're going to say, oh, well, this one says something about here. Me, this one says something. So one of them is a listing. Uh, one from here from M Michaela and Russell says that not only was he attentive to our search criteria and flexible in scheduling viewings, he went above and beyond in keeping our two children out of trouble while we looked at houses, right? So when I am, when a family's coming through, if a buyer sees that one, that's what's going to resonate with them. I have one here, he was the only one that understood my needs and didn't give up on me considering my low budget to buy. He found the house I was looking for. Thank you, Neil, for making the impossible happen. That's not me saying that. That is Gloria Ordonez saying that right here, right? And consequently, she ended up buying multiple properties with me, right? And that's what we, that's what, those are the types of things you want to have out. Blow it up, have it bigger than life, have it in their face. We want to have things such as a seller's roadmap, you know, news releases if you have. And so this will be up here and I'll show that uh, for you uh, and you guys can look at that. We also have the same thing for buyers, a buyer's booklet. What services do they get when they hire you as a buyer? Create a Facebook event and evite event. You want to create events and we're not calling them open houses, we're calling them special event. A successful open house is never an open house. It's a special event. Exclusive open, a special event, a twilight, twilight viewing if you're going to do it at twilight hours, any of that. We are inundated by seeing open house, open house, open house on social media, in the advertising or the marketing. If you say special event, exclusive, twilight open, twilight event, twilight viewing, uh, you know, one time showing, uh, any of that, you want to build the buzz around it. As Angie said, you want to call your sphere to invite. You want to create financing option sheet with the assistance of a lender. Now, if you go into the Miami MLS, uh, you can use Rate Plug. Everyone familiar with Rate Plug? Anyone familiar with Rate Plug? Rate Plug is in the MLS. You can go in and I believe on the listing, you can click Rate Plug and it will create a flyer for you. And if now there is some reluctance to do this because, well, how are they locked in at this amount? How valid is this? You know, so there are agents, lenders, who pay to be affiliates of the Miami Association. Their info will be on there. You will want to contact them ahead of time to make sure that either they can attend or let them know, hey, I'm advertising, I'm helping your business. Keep me in mind when someone comes to you who is not uh, already working with an agent. Um, pro uh, personal promo material, pop by items. When you, go, when you come to one of my open houses, I love leaving stuff around for people to steal because it has all of my info on here. This is an ice cream scoop. If you guys can't tell, I like color, so I always try to go above and beyond. On my ice cream scoop, it says giving you all, giving you and all of your referrals the real estate scoop. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm never too busy for any of your referrals. On here is my business card. 
and my little band that I'm always wearing that I give out. It says, don't be average, be world renowned. BeWorldRenowned.com. They visit there, guess what? It goes to my website, right? So these are little things that I will have in the kitchen, in the living room, in the bedroom, wherever it is. I want to look and see who's walking through the property, who's grabbing stuff, who's walking away with what. Does that make sense? So these are things that on the front end, this is what you want to put together. The welcome sign. You want to make sure that you have a welcome sign on the front door welcoming people in. It can either say, welcome to the open house, come right in, or if it's, if it's an exclusive type deal where you have a private showing, uh, please ring the doorbell and we will be with you shortly. Whatever your welcome sign says, you want to have something that you can have there. I have mine laminated and it just goes right on the front door. I usually use those three M strips that, don't, that, that you can pull and release. That's what I use for mine. If you have another way to affix it to the door, whatever you want to do, you want to make sure you have that. Will there be food and beverages? This is something that goes either way. I say do whatever you want and what your seller wants or your affiliate wants. I don't care. Now, there are things, and you'll see why uh, food and beverage could be an issue depending on neighborhood, depending on cultures, depending on the owner of the property, all these things. So just keep that in mind as we're going. Marketing consultation presentation. So this is your presentation, so most people call it a listing agreement. I mean, listing uh, presentation. I don't call it listing because anyone can list a home, I professionally market your properties. Little words that have been taught that, that we know have a greater return uh, and get a better response. So a marketing consultation presentation. Everywhere I go, I keep this in my car with me. I have my marketing presentation with me everywhere I go. The complete home marketing plan. So at an open house, we want sellers, right? When do we want to do a listing presentation? We want to do it as early and often as we can. If someone is at the property and if they want a listing presentation, we do it right there. This is where your plan, I'll be your megaphone to the marketplace. You see it right here. It talks about the property enhancement, everything that we have here, but I'm always ready. You should always be ready to give a marketing consultation or listing presentation wherever you are. If you're at Starbucks and someone wants to talk about listing their property, you need to have this with you. You need to have that with you everywhere you go. That's why I keep it in here in my notebook. It's uh, discreet, but I have it there and I'm always ready to list the property. Testimonial blow ups. That's what I was talking about, how I have the uh, blow up on the 11 by 18. Will there be a raffle? Some people use raffles to uh, get contact info. That's something you need to think about beforehand. Don't show up there and be like, uh, I guess I'll do a raffle, you know? Um, so that is a great way, even if it's a $25 gift card, $10, $5 gift card to Starbucks, or uh, whatever it is, that's a great way to get people to give you their real information or to drop a business card in or, or whatever it is. Now, when we talk about the sign-in sheet, what I want you to think about is that most people, when you talk about doing a raffle, have them on individual pieces of paper or sign in on individual pieces of paper or if you're using an app, where everyone's contact info is not visible. So we want to do that for our safety, you know, or for our liability. But also, if people see, well, here, just take this sign in and, you know, um, drop it in for a raffle on your way out. We're raffling off Starbucks gift card. You don't have to tell them the amount. No one cares. If you know it's a dollar, it's a dollar less, right? Um, so you want to make sure that you do that. Give it, them something where they can fill out as they're going through. Use a lot of the golf pencils. The small ones, so that way they take it and stop breaking your budget. A promo teaser video for social media. Before you get to the property, before you do the open house, you want to do that quick 15 to 20 second teaser video. Hey, I'm having an open house at 123 Main Street. Come out this Saturday. Come out two weeks from now. Come out and you want to hit that over and over and over. And if you're in the property, even better. If you're in front of the property or we're with one of the key features, that's going to be a huge deal. Where do you put this? So that is one for all of social media. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, wherever. That's where your promo teaser video goes. This is like your movie trailer. Movie trailer. If you're going to be doing other videos, make sure that you post the post in on the front end of those videos. Do you use YouTube or do you use to do this video? So you use your phone. You use your phone and then you can upload it directly to any and everything. 
any, any and everything. So I put mine, so I do a lot of YouTube videos. When I have an open house coming up, I put that before the content of my YouTube video so someone has to see that. And it's only 15 to 20 seconds, and then they can get to the um, video. And with that, once I have my YouTube video, once I have it up on social media, guess what? I'm sending that to the seller. I'm always telling them what I'm doing, right? And then you want to arrange time with team or colleagues to attend. The way I said that your, your open house will be successful even if no one attends, because someone should always be attending, even if they're your agents, your wife. I knew someone was going to be in attendance today because I brought my wife. <laughs> Never leave anything up for chance. It's like a good attorney. They only ask questions that they know the answers to, right? So every one of your open houses, you should speak to your colleagues, friends, or family, have them attend the open house, and you usually want them to attend five minutes before you told the seller to come back. Why? What's better feeling than the seller comes back, they see four or five people in there, and they'll say, oh, I'll wait outside, all right? Happens every time. And that also gives you a chance while you're there at the property to take the photos with people at your listing, at your open house for social media. You guys understand what I'm saying? Now, how are you going to get your friends and family or whoever there? If you have to bribe them, bribe them. Hopefully you have people who would, you know, after you learn these things, you'll reciprocate it back to them. But if there want to be agents that are there, you're going to ask them to do an analysis, a property analysis form while they're there. What do you think of the price? What do you think of the location? What do you think, or what are the good, the good, bad, and ugly? Give it to me and you want to have that on the little form because then when they leave, you want to tell the seller, hey, we got some feedback we're going to go through here. I'm going to look at it all and then I'm going to give you third party feedback about the property and the listing. Everyone sees the value in that? You didn't put that up there. I'm sorry? No, it's interesting what you just said about putting, because I started, I started a few open houses, to put a little page where they put their, their feet on. Mm -hmm. So you can do that on the raffle sign in that you that you want to use or like when my colleagues come i give them a different form as a professional right what are the likes what are the dislikes what do you think about the price what other properties have you seen you know and i don't want to hit my consumers with a questionnaire i want name contact info and when i'm saying contact info how do we reach you if you win right how do we reach because everyone believes what i'm going to be the one that wins right so that's something, and then if you're going to do that, make sure you actually do have a prize, something to raffle off. And when you announce the winner, make it a big event, right? Because that's more content. Now we're repurposing everything we do. During, now we're going to jump to the during, the open house. You want to arrive an hour to an hour and a half early. Oh my God, I was just gonna get there five minutes before. You want to arrive an hour to an hour and a half before the open house or the special event. Because we never know what to expect when we walk into a property. We don't know if we're going to have someone there that shouldn't be. One of our friends uh, had attended an open house, and she went in there, and the housekeeper had overdosed the night before. Wow. And they go in, and they find her. Oh Medics have to get her out. Oh, wow. oh. And now, they were attending the open house. Guess what the listing agent said, just come right in, we'll only be a minute. So they come in, they're walking around as fire trucks, EMTs, everyone's coming in, they see her wheeled out. Now, if that happens, either postpone or cancel the old house, don't let them in the house. Okay? You guys promise that. First thing you do, get everything inside the property. Everything inside the property. Once you go in, you want to get there, go do a, a safety thing, go do it once around the property, make sure everything's good. Hopefully you aren't doing open houses by yourself. That goes for ladies and gentlemen, okay? Hopefully you aren't doing open houses by yourself or you're not there at the beginning by yourself especially. You want to get everything inside the property. But why? Because there are things that we need to do immediately to get the house prepared for the open. The first one you'll see, so you're going to do four walkthroughs of the property. Four walkthroughs of the property. The first one, you see, before I do anything, just I have a backpack that I carry with me, but I have an open house bag. I know that I grab my open house bag, or my agents have open house bags now. They grab the bag, everything they need is in there. The first thing that you want to spray is air neutralizer. Now, 
You guys are going to hear it. You guys can debate, it's up to you. Bake cookies, burn candles, do this, do that. I deal with a lot of foreign buyers coming in. To foreigners, so everyone has their own distinct taste and smells and preferences. To foreigners, Americans stink. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, it's because of our diet. It's because of the amount of caffeine that we put into our bodies. Right? And, and, and now we think what? Other cultures stink, right? Yeah. But it's all about sensitivity. So who here loves the smell of baked goods? Who loves the smell of baked goods? Right? Who hates it? Who's indifferent to it? There are some people, like my wife has a very sensitive nose. Okay, some people have very sensitive noses. You want to go through the very first thing you do, air neutralizer, not air freshener. You want to go through with a Febreze, which I'm not being endorsed by, but I should There's be. There's a strong one now. There's a stronger one. So you want to go through whatever it is. You want to have an air neutralizer. Go through the entire house. Spray air neutralizer. Because we want our house to be odor neutral. Odor neutral. We don't want someone to come in there. Oh, I love it. Because it's going to hit them as soon as they open the door, whatever it is. Good, bad, ugly, or neutral. All right? We want that crisp. We want that crisp uh, feel. Second walkthrough, so after we go through, first thing, the first walkthrough should only be a minute, minute and a half, depending on the property. Hopefully you have a property where it's gonna take you 10 minutes to walk through. Yeah, that's a big price, and not because you're stepping over junk. But hopefully you go through, you're just gonna spray your air neutralizer, you're coming back, dropping that in the bag. The next thing you're doing, you're starting at the door of the property. You're going to look, and you're going to declutter, I say declutter first, or stage the property. Declutter is the biggest part. Hopefully your seller didn't just run out. Hopefully it looks like that they uh, attempted to help you. Uh, but if not, you want to declutter. That's the second thing you want to do. That's the second walkthrough. Everyone understand why? You want to get as much junk out of view because we have to start placing our tchotchkes and all of our things for them to take in the property on the next one. All right, third walkthrough. Are we good? Everyone's good. Third walkthrough, you want to distribute your marketing materials, open house packets throughout the home. You want to make sure that if you have a buyer book, do not put the buyer book and the seller book in the same location. What again is the difference of a buyer book and a, and a pamphlet about the property? So, I'm glad you asked. So the first thing, so the property packet. Property packet is usually what wow. agents are going to give when they come in. Usually right now it's just one flyer, right? We go above and beyond, we don't give one flyer. We don't just give the MLS, Agent print out nine photos, six photos. We don't do that. We are not average. We're better than average. You guys agree? So we're not going to do that. We're going to have a property packet. We're going to give everyone gets a property packet or they have access to it. That's going to be on the entryway. That's a property packet. Everyone has access to that. Our seller book and our buyer book are things that we keep, but they view. Okay? The difference is the seller book is going to talk about everything that you do as a seller, as a listing agent. The property packet is about the property. Well, the the seller book is about you as a listing agent. Your buyer book is about you as a buyer's agent. Mm -hmm. When I like, I'm sorry? No, I think you'd rather say a promotion. No. No? No. I wrote the course. I'm kind of what I want. Okay. <laughs> Here's, so the reason we do, and it's, it's specific why I say that. Seller books, because I'm not just promoting to promote. I want to be very intentional, and here's, I'll show you how much thought goes into what we do. So the seller book, I like to put the seller book in the kitchen. I put the seller book in the kitchen because hopefully the kitchen is one of the most appealing places. If I see someone come in and it says home marketing guide there, and if they're looking through this, what does that tell me? They're probably interested in marketing services or they want to know what I would do to market their home if they're selling. You guys understand why? That's a totally different conversation than when I put the South Florida buyer's booklet in the living room on the coffee table. This one is white. All of my selling stuff is either white or gray. My buyer stuff is blue. This is going to be in the kitchen. If I see them sit down and look for it, look at the buyer's, the South Florida buyer's booklet, and they're looking through to see what my services I provide as a buyer's agent, what do I know? They're probably interested in buying. Don't assume that only buyers are coming to your property. So that's going to be living room and kitchen. In the bedrooms, because don't forget we have our pop-ups all over the place. In the bedrooms, you will see market, 
like right here, this is blue, so this is a buyer packet for on the property. So it could be something like an RPR where we can have, just bear with me. So in RPR, you can have a market activity sheet or market activity report. And this doesn't talk about the property itself. This just talks about Hollywood. That's one of the areas that I work. So what you'll see here is an RPR gives you a professional report, okay? And what you'll see is that with this, this is going to be one of the things in the blue. I might put this in the bedroom, in the master's bedroom. If I see someone in the master bedroom, and if now these are the ones, these are about, I think, 50 something cents. These little packets here from Walmart or Alpha Deep, wherever you want to go. These are things for them to take. Okay? Now, if you, you see them carrying off your big binder, say, oh, hold on, I'm going to need that. I appreciate it, but have you take a, take a market, I'm sorry, a buyer's a little packet here. What this is, this is something that they can take that talks about the listings that it has that are happening in the surrounding area. This is where the work comes in on the front end. You want to have something that talks about the market activity reports, you know, anything here, talk about other listings that are available. It shows that you know everything about the market and not just that home. Because less than 5% of the time are we gonna sell that property at the open house. But if you're a buyer and if you're looking at my property, you want to know what else is happening, you can go through and see. For instance, we have, you'll see here, these are the new listings. Then we also have access to information on pending listings. Same thing that when we go to the report, price and RPR. Yeah. RPR, it's a, it's a service that we get with our association dues. Price changes. We have all of this information. So if someone comes through and then the distressed activity and recently sold. If we see someone walking out of our door with this right here, with the buyer part about the property here, because they, they can't take this. Blue, red, green, gray. Have a system in place so that even if you're over here talking to someone in the kitchen, and you see someone walking out with the blue, what you're going to say is, oh, excuse me, oh, yes, did you put your name in for the raffle? And could I give you any more information about my buyer uh, agent services? Because we know they're interested in buyer stuff. Right? You guys got that. They're going to say, well, dang, how did he know I'm interested in buying? Because you took the stuff that I branded, that I intentionally marked with the colors for you to take. Everyone got that? So, and then, of course, what you do here, so these are things where in each one of these packets here with RPR, your broker can go out because we're doing it as we're going to the properties. You want to make sure you have the house ready, lock it up, leave, put the signs out, furthest one first, coming in. Furthest one first, coming in. If you have an assistant, all the better. Right, but furthest one out coming in because logically that's how people get to the property. We don't want someone getting to the property and we not be there. There is one exception to that. Take videos and photos of your event. Keep eyes open for cues. The cues are these types of things. When they take those, when they're asking questions of you, and then you want to ask questions. Not, hey, uh, would you like to know more about the property? That's not a question that we want to ask. But a great question. How's your home search going so far? How's your home search one so far is a question that you would, I mean, that, that tells you more. They'll open up and they'll tell you everything, that almost everything you need to know. So how many homes have you seen today? How many homes have you seen? What are you looking for in a property? What are, are you, so I would come, like my personality, once again, something that you have to ask uh, if you want to do it. And I, I would say, did you come to see the house or just to meet me? <laughs> right? And they'll say, Oh, huh, well, I'm, you know, sort of both. Okay, so what? Are you looking for an agent? These are things, whatever your personality is, make sure you weave that into the presentation or into the event. After, send thank you video messages to all attendees. Text messages, emails are not good enough. I want you to take out your phone. It's a fantastic video recorder. You have their information on those raffles. I want you to shoot a 10 second video. Hey, Joe, thank you for attending the open house at such and such. I'll be in contact soon. Send it as a, what is it, an MMS message. Straight from your phone. Send it. No one, it's not, people aren't doing it. If you do it, instant contact. 
and you want to do a recap social media video while you're at the property, after you've finished everything here, you want to finish your open house by doing a video of you. Whether you use a tripod or if you're holding it in your hand, you want to say, had a fantastic open house today. We had lots of interest. We're not going to say attendance. We had lots of interest. Uh, let me know if you're interested in this property or if you would love for me to host an open house at your property. Those are the types of things you want to do on the uh, social media recap video. You want to announce the raffle winner on social media. And now we're not giving a whole name, address, phone number, and all that, but we want to say congratulations to you know Gladys for winning the uh, raffle at our last open house. We'll have you have a chance to win at the next one at this address, this date, whatever. But like people love seeing that. And then if you send that to the person, if you get to talk to them on the phone, if you send that to the person, I guarantee they're going to share, like, comment, and repost. Free advertising. Okay? You want to follow up and deliver promised emails, calls, and material. If you told someone that you would get them a market analysis report, if you told someone that you would send them information on other listings, make sure you do that the day of. The day of speed kills. And that's either good or a lack of speed can kill you in a bad way. You want to add the leads to the database so we can follow up. And then you want to provide the feedback to the seller. Now, the feedback to the seller, we usually want to give between 24 and 48 hours before we, we don't want to say, hey, well, hey, well what did they say? I'm, I'm going to go through, I'm going to compile all the responses, all the feedback, and I'll give that to you within 48 hours. Set the expectation here and deliver it within 24. Right? Everyone okay with that? Everyone understand why? We don't want to give it right then because we want to make sure we're in a mental space where we can handle objections and where we can say, okay, if this is what they said, what can I show the seller to support what is being said? If they say the property is overpriced, what if it's the lowest price property and everything else is sold? At least we'll know the conversation that we can have with the seller there. Maybe it not just, might not be the price, it might be something else. But we don't want to just say that immediately and then have the seller get defensive. Everyone good with that? I said there is one, there's one exception to we don't want anyone showing up to the property without us there. That is if a seller comes, hey, I live two doors down, I'm looking for a, a listing agent, would you be willing to do, I, I would love to meet with you. On the back side of your open house sign, mine is laminated, on the back side of your open house sign, you're gonna have another sign. Thank you for uh, coming to our open house. I am meeting with a prospective seller will be back in 10 minutes, okay? Now, there's a give and take. Do you want to put that sign out five minutes before the open house is over and you think the seller might be coming? Absolutely not. Just tell the prospective seller that you'll be there in 30 minutes, okay? But if it's at the beginning of your open house, you have to take actions faster. So if it's at the beginning of an open house, I have no problem with it. That's why I always encourage you guys to have an assistant there. Flip the sign over if necessary. Go take a quick viewing of the property and then say, all right, I have all the information, I saw your property, I'll give you a market an analysis report, market activity report, and then I'll get back to you. You guys are good. But why, why does seller want us to just not, to, like, can we finish the day with the open house and go That back? is up to you. What I know is, I get yeah. listings, I get listings, right away. I get listings, because I'm not afraid of leaving an open house where no one else is to go take this. Speed of business. Speed of business is seconds now. Yes, ma'am. Oh no, I used to have a, a co-worker that he was like a, a really active listing person. And we went we used to go to open houses and he was the one who used to go around knocking on the door while I had the open house. To let them know that we're having it and to make contact. Okay. Yes, sir. This, this weekend passed in the same scenario. The seller had said, I'm in a rush. I came just to, to, to check out the unit, but I want you to check out my unit before I leave. Mm -hmm. She was like, I want to be gone for the whole day. So so some scenarios do take, some, take and, further actions. So we want to go ahead and prepare ahead of time for that to happen. What we don't want is we don't want someone to show up to our open house and it be closed and they think, oh, well, the agent is nasty, the agent is lazy or whatever. Now, I know we're about to get ready to go. I'm going, I believe in asking for what you want. So you guys got the uh, reviews, right, where you guys have, is it one through five or A through L? A through L. A through L. Okay, my mom has never had an A, I, I've never been an A student in my life. Okay, 
So if you guys would, I'm going to ask you if you think it was valuable. More important than the A through L, I'm always looking to improve. So if you have comments, please put comments on there. I know that we had to jam about three hours of information into two. Uh, so that it can, uh, so that we could meet the time requirements of the association. Right here, this is the link. This is the link that I want you guys to go through. It's going to take you to Dropbox. Very important. I'm, the next thing I say is very important. It is necessary for the S and the O to be capital. If it is not capital, you're not going to get anything, and you're going to call me a liar bit.ly slash successful open is going to take you to Dropbox. Now it's going to say, do you want to download Dropbox or continue to the site? You can continue to the website and all of the information is going to be there. Handouts uh, from the slides and handout view will be there. Uh, examples of the this entire book right here, I have this entire book. Now it is not the home marketing guide, I changed it to, uh, it is South Florida Real Estate Services. So you got to have a services book on there, the entire thing with everything that I have in there. The open house signs, or the welcome signs, uh, are going to be in there. I think there are three different versions of that. The buyer packet is going to be in there. You'll see examples of property packets are going to be in there. All of that is going to be in there. I'm going to ask that you guys take it, look at it, use it, Breakthroughbroker.com is a huge one. Use Realtor.com, Realtor.org for us. Uh, go in there, get in the information. I don't care where you guys pull the information from, but make sure you have something to differentiate, differentiate yourself and to elevate yourself How above. Do get, I'm sorry. How do we get to that? So right here, you just type that in. Instead of www, oh. you just type this in. Bits.ly, so it doesn't require www, there is no .com, anything. So it's bit.ly, successful open with the capital S and O. And that's going to bring you to Dropbox and everything's going to be in there for you guys to download. You'll download what you want or you just look at it and use that as a reference. Uh, so you guys can go in there. I'm sorry? It's not open. Sorry. Yours did? Okay, I know I was having some issue. I just want to make sure I'm going to be off. Bit.ly. Bit.ly. So try it. So try it. So try it. Because I did it. Okay. I did it. So, but yours, yours did it open, Sam? Yeah, I have it. Okay. I have it right here. Okay. So. Try it right when you guys get out and try it later. If I not, did, I did direct download. Okay. Because I have a Dropbox. So okay. I did direct download instead of. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So if it's not working right now, just try it. Most important, make sure that the S and the O are capital. Yeah. Right here. This is how you can contact me. Contact me or follow me on Facebook.